morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog. My name's Jenny and this is my channel Jenny Loves to Sew. Before I start anything uh, about what I've made, um, can I just say a big thank you to Lisa at um, and so on. Um, I think she mentioned me in her um, vlog recently and I know a lot of people have come over from her channel so I've got a lot of new subscribers so hello to any new subscribers and thank you Lisa. Right so on to my mic. So this is simplicity pattern it's k8610 i actually got this from the pattern swap and um, if anyone follows um instagram um there's a event that's gone on this is it's in its second year and it's called um it's, well, it's uh, the hashtag is pattern swap 19 this year uh it was started last year and it is run by polka dot palace and the zipper foot i will put their um, details down below and basically the idea is that um, you sort out through your patterns um, you list patterns that you don't want up for offer to other sewers um, and it's on a first come first serve basis so the first person to comment gets the pattern and then you can look for patterns yourself um, i've listed and sent off about six patterns i think and I think I had, I think I had four back. Uh, this is the only one I've got round to sewing yet. Uh, really like it. It's um, it's got it's got a nice uh, selection of uh, makes. So you've got your uh, um, dungaree trouser suit, uh, the skirt version, and you've got two of the jackets. Uh, so I made this one um, with the fabric, which I will put a full picture now so that you can uh, have a quick little look at it so the fabric i absolutely love it's um got lots and lots of faces on really interesting design it is a i want to say art gallery i think it's art gallery uh, it was from Sony Sunshine. I know it was a really popular um, print. I think uh, when Harriet had it in stock at first, uh, it sold out pretty much straight away and I, I missed the boat, but uh, she was able to get some more in and I was able to get some that time. Um, but again, I think I think it might be sold out again now unless she's managed to get any more in. Um, and I, I, I knew I wanted to make some sort of lightweight jacket uh, i just didn't know what so when i saw this come up on the pattern swap i was really pleased um i, I did make a few alterations to it um size wise um i mean normally i'll just i have to grade out for my um waist but for this uh, there is plenty of ease in the um actual um final fit finished garment uh, so I just did a straight size um, 14, which was from a bust measurement, and I just went straight straight down. I didn't bother to um, grade out at all, which I didn't need to. Um, the the back pattern piece uh, in the instructions it actually says to uh, cut two of them, um, but because this was quite a, what the wider size fabric. Um, I did manage to get the full length out of it by doing it on the fold. I just preferred it like that. I didn't really want the uh, seam line down the back. Um, I also took the gathers out of the front. Um, you can see at the back, I've left gathers in the back, but at the front, there was gathers all around the front here as well. And I did, I did make up a quick twirl and I just thought it left gave there was just too much fabric around the front i'm not i'm not very big busted and i, I don't know if that was part of the cause but it just it just didn't hang well um so basically i measured the the gathers go in between the notches so i measured the bottom section the space between the notch, notches did the same for the top section i think the difference was six centimeters i don't know if it's the same on every every size um so then I cut along the middle of the top section, uh, almost straight up to the top, and then just folded the fabric over itself to take away the six centimetres and just uh, redrew the pattern then. 
and um, yeah that worked out fine uh, it's nicely finished nicely finished inside because you've got the um you've got a nice deep facing on the inside and around the sides as well um, there's a side band there which that's that bit's interfaced um, it did say to interface the whole piece but I thought my interfacing was quite stiff so I just did half of it and folded it over um, and then I also added cuffs um, so they it is quite a long sleeve now it's uh, I mean I think naturally it should have uh, dropped a little bit um, shorter but I just I don't, I don't really like sleeves that don't feel like they're quite long enough so I just decided to add a cuff just to add that little bit of length to it. Um, did I make any other alterations? I can't think of what I did. Um, yeah so that's that's pretty much all. I, I did also, another thing I did I also took off because um, the sleeves are quite obviously they, they're meant to be they're meant to be quite deep in this kind of uh, pattern but I did take just a uh, half a centimetre out all along the just up to where the seam is to join the uh, bottom and the top section uh, just to make them a little bit narrower and um, so yeah nice not not particularly complicated to sew uh, and I just thought it'd be really nice for the summer um, we're off on our holidays soon so this is one of my holiday makes and very pleased with it so it's just a short video today I've, I've been a little bit uh, busy just uh, just lately things just uh, seem to mount up all these jobs sometimes so I just thought I better just uh, pop on and show my face just so that nobody forgets who I am so um, hopefully I'll have another video soon and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this short one thank you